Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Um, we're gonna kind of do a tail end off the last video about the images of the planes. You're gonna animate in this video and then do the noise keyframe modifier. Um, keyframe modifiers are super powerful and they help us save a lot of time. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we are in that, that and now that we have this file open and ready to go, we'll select our object that we want to animate. We'll change the timeline to dope sheet right here. Now that dope sheet is selected and we have the proper keyframe, we want to come over here and drag it out. So this is our animation right here. We want him to come right here with auto keyframing on. And then when he gets right there, um, we want him to climb the little castle like this. So this is what the animation will look like. Looks pretty cool. So if we come back here, let is, let's animate the value. I wanted to have it in between here where he goes up and down like this. So when we do this, we have to pay attention to what we're modifying. If we do G and Z, we're modifying the location of Z. So we'll come in here to object transforms and the dope sheet timeline. We will lock everything but the Z location. So we'll unlock that so we don't accidentally mess with it. On this top left right here, we're gonna change our mode from dope sheet to graph editor. Now inside graph editor is going to give us some very interesting data information, but we don't want to overload our brain. So we'll hide everything but the Z location because that's all we care about. We can zoom in, you see, and um, just to kind of visualize, he's walking, he's walking, and then he goes up. And this is where we see an incline in the, the Z location between these two keyframes. So if we come back, we want to edit from here, from this keyframe to this keyframe the up and down movement. So we could just come in here and, you know, play with these handles and, you know, see how he does like a little bounce and stuff, but we don't want to do that. We want the computer to do it for us. So we will come over here to this little tab. We'll pop this out to make sure the Z location is selected. And then there's this modifiers tab and we will add a modifier and that modifier is noise. Cool. So the noise modifier has been ad added. And if we play it, you can see that he is going up and down, but we only want him to do that between the frame of one and 21. We don't want him to keep going. Well, I guess you could. Let me see. Yeah. So between range one and 21, you can play with these values and the scale is just going to zoom in and out of the noise function ability to go back strength is going to increase this this is the height and the in the negative uh, Z so this is super high as you can see and that's not what we want so let's go ahead and restrict frame range and basically what that's gonna allow us to do is what we want which is only have the noise function from a certain range so cool that looks pretty good. So we hit the space bar, we play it. Uh, we'll change the end to 47 so it'll loop. So he goes up and down, it gyrates from the frames that we want, and then he smoothly climbs up the tower. Now, if you want to edit this more, you can come in here and play with the phase, which just changes the values up a little bit. The offset moves the noise functions X, and then we can also do the depth, which is just how smooth it overall looks. Um, yeah. And we can also do a blend in amount and a blend out, which will kind of smoothly do it in and out, which smooths out the animation. And it's what we want is a smoother animation. All right. And if you want to fine tune this even more, um, if you would like to fine tune this even more, what we would like to do is stop the animation, hit I, which will insert a keyframe, and we'll do only selected channels because we only care about what's going on right here. And we can actually do some manipulation inside of here. So let's say I want this to be a little bit more dramatic. We'll bring this down.